Alright, so we're checking out the only game where Florida man can destroy the employment ratio by making it so that people never actually get to work. It's City Skylines. Welcome to Florida, damn it. This right here is a completely accurate representation of Florida. This is literally how flat it is down here. So thanks to a comment that I got in one of my last City Skylines videos, we're gonna ruin people's lives by making it take so long to get to work that they never actually get there. I mean, they probably will. I would like it to take at least one year for people to get to work, which means that Florida is about to become one giant road system. This the shipping container boat is like, we getting the hell out of here before gray starts. All right, so we already have people coming in. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to make it so that one single road covers the entirety of as much stuff as we can possibly cover and then see how long it takes people to get to where they're trying to go. None of you get to use this road anymore. Welcome to the Florida beautification process. I gotta clear out all these old roads. So if I want people to take as long as possible to get to work and like keep them on the roads, we need to make the roads as small as we can. So I'm just gonna have like a sad two lane road. Great. Glad to see things are glitching out already. Ah, Florida. In Florida, there's no mountains, so we gotta make our own with giant ass roads. Now there is a rule here, uh, due to the various mods, I could go straight down to hell, like infinitely, but that's, that's kind of lame. So we're not allowed to go to hell. We can build up, but we can't build down into the core of the earth. The hell it's invalid. You don't tell me what's invalid. This is Florida. We do what we want. It's kind of more like a roller coaster than anything else. We're not even part way done and I'm getting Miami flashbacks. I'm actually kind of curious just from this, how long it would take a person to get from home to work. There's your newspaper article. Florida man gets given infinite transportation funds. It goes completely insane. I wanted to make the FU Florida University turnpike over here, but it just ended up coming out like a tentacle. I mean, I guess that's still a win. It's Florida. Okay, we're all the way at the end of Florida. Now we're gonna make what I like to call the Floridian Tees. See, what happens is you think that because we're here, oh, this is gonna be the area where everyone lives, by the way. You think that because we're here, it's all over, right? But it's actually a giant lie. Now I'm gonna bring us all the way back to Florida again. This isn't really the cleanest way to do this, but it's Florida, so I feel like this is appropriate. And now you get to go home to your families if they haven't all like disowned you by this point. <laughs> Recreational use in city policies allowing recreational use of controlled substances. After this thing that we've made, we're gonna need it. All of Florida is getting free Wi-Fi. There is now no reason not to come here. I'm doing some uh, neighborhood beautification over here so I can get more residential areas right in this region. There we go. That I think is gonna bring in the tourism. It's all gonna be low concentration living over here in Kilmeville. Now way the hell over here, this is where they're actually gonna have to go to their jobs, you know, once they navigate through this gigantic L spool of spaghetti fishing real tangled mess. Be sure to place the industrial zone at a safe distance from any residential areas. I think we're at a safe distance. All right, so we'll have some industry right over here, offices over here. I'm really curious. They must've bought these sites unseen like on the internet or something like that because I can't imagine who would already look at this place and be like, ah, my retirement home. This is what I've been waiting for. I appreciate that some of the very first houses are in the K of Kill Me. I'm gonna put these solar panels in a place where it can get some lovely shade from the freaking roads. I need to have plenty of education here too, so that everyone can understand just how badly they screwed up. Just doing some uh, very efficient water here. I feel like Kill Me needs a crematorium right in the middle of it. There we go. See, they're so happy to be there. Can I put this launch site like right underneath one of the roads? <laughs> That'd be great if we could just launch this straight into the roadway. Wow, I can't believe it. It took forever, but someone finally entered the city, at least from the long side driving out of the city. You poor bastard. What the hell motor scooter can you possibly have that will allow you to traverse this? I, what is the range on this thing? Okay. So as people are starting to move in and they're all incredibly happy to have a 6 billion mile commute, 
it is now time to find out exactly how long it takes to get from the front of the state all the way to the back of the state where everyone lives. After this gets done, I need to see just how janked up I can make the traffic with like tolls and lights and stuff. Ah! <laughs> Welcome to the very first thing you see upon entering Florida. Seems legit. We're gonna go ahead and follow the sedan. They're apparently a guard at the solar power plant. They must have taken up that job before they realized what the hell the drive's gonna be like. All right, so it's whatever, July 10th, 2021. Let's see what it is when they finally get home. Welcome to the Great Floridian Straightaway. To your left, you'll notice a bunch of Satan roads. To your right, you'll notice the beautiful ocean and more Satan roads. All right, so right now, it only takes two and a half straight months of driving to get into town. Those are rookie numbers. I think that we have a lot more work to do here. So one of the first things I can think of is lowering the speed limit as low as possible. I'm not really sure how far down we're allowed to bring this. Congratulations, everything is now 10 kilometers per hour. It's like the inverse of the Autobahn. It's the Autobahn for total masochists. On a side note though, pedestrian safety is gonna be at an all time high. Cause if you can't get out of the way of these cars moving this slow, it's your own damn fault. Once you get in town though, you're allowed to go 130. <laughs> I especially want 130 through the school zones. See, like right here, look at this. 130 needs to be there. Oh yeah. That is just awful. <laughs> this guy's getting brake checked the whole time too. He's gotta ride his brakes for the next like 12,000 miles. Finally, people are starting to file into these buildings. I guess, they've, I guess they're going to school. I mean, they can get their education super quick because their buses are moving at 130 kilometers an hour. If you can get a straightaway, it is an absolute madhouse through here. That's at normal speed. <laughs> Look at the recycling truck. You get off the highway and you, you slow down, you come to this and everyone's like, oh, is it the traffic? Is that why we're moving so slow? Nope. Just the speed limit. Okay, I've now got stuff legitimately commuting all the way back from the beginning to this little like industrial hub over here. So now it's time to see just how many tolls these poor bastards can absorb before they lose their will to live. I don't want to get too excessive now. I would say maybe like a hundred or so is enough. I'm not a monster. It's like the Starbucks of toll booths. There's just a toll booth right across the street from a toll booth. I had to go back. They're too damn smart. They won't accept the tolls. They'll accept a 10 kilometer per hour speed limit. <laughs> but tolls, that's asking for too much. All right, it's time for another test. This guy came in at 6.30, 2021. So now it's time to find out exactly how long it takes him to get home. Congratulations. The mayor just announced that our beautiful city won the most attractive city award. <laughs> Who needs to do this when you have a spouse? God forbid you need to go somewhere and pick up a gallon of milk. You might end up driving for a year. Just a little uh, real time sadness over here. I'm trying to get it as long as I can, but they won't allow me to put down any more stop sign. If I put down a single stop sign, no one comes in the city anymore and all the cars despawn. It must just take too long to get to their residence that they just give up. The game just throws in the towel. It doesn't want to do this anymore. These cruise ships that are passing by, they're probably like, next stop, Southwest Florida. And everyone on the cruise ship is like, no, just keep going for the love of God. All right, almost six months of nonstop driving to get into town. That's not that bad, actually. I expected it to be a lot worse. Okay, we're getting closer to the one year mark. I'm getting to the point where traffic is like way backed up. I just need to figure out how to utilize the one traffic signal I'm allowed before these things start despawning in order to get the most amount of time we can. Okay, I think we found our golden boy here. It's this police car. We're about to see why the taxes are about 12,000%. So this police car is taking the long way. Almost no one takes this way, but this police car is doing it. So now I'm really gonna get to see just how long it takes. So we're at 3, 4, 20, 22. Go my son. Oh yeah, this is gonna be amazing. A lot of people come in kind of like the shorter way, but when people try and leave Florida, <laughs> it's just terrible. The cool part for this police car is he's leaving a rookie and he'll be back a veteran. 
we're at six months and this poor bastard is nowhere near the end yet. I wish there was a way to speed this up even farther. It's legit taking forever in real life. Hey, did you did you think it was over because you were getting close to the end of the state? Now you have to do the full loop. Thank you for an amazing vacation. See you next year. What are you talking about? By the time next year comes around, you're just going to be at the end of the roadway so you can turn around and come back. That feeling when you leave for work and when you get back, your newborn child is now a toddler. Okay, I vastly underestimated this road. This is going to be way longer than a year. Uh, it's almost been a year and he's about halfway down the state now. He just has to go through all this. It's like the Oregon Trail. I'm waiting for this guy to dive dysentery. And happy new year. We're officially past the one year mark on this godforsaken road. Luckily, these new police cars come equipped with a 75,000 gallon tank. I like how it's just this one poor bastard that decided to take the long way. Like, everyone saw him leave and they just kind of laughed to themselves, and that's why no one else joined him. They all were inside on the joke except for him. That's what happens when you're the new guy. What the hell? <laughs> it vanished. It straight up disappeared. <laughs> the asset just gave up. It had been on the road for a year and two months. And it finally just gave up. The young rookie police officer was never heard from again. In celebration of the one, well, more than one year road travel, I think there's only one way to uh, to commemorate this. Like how the people just get teleported up into, into heaven. They just ride the waves straight up. It's like interstellar, but worse. Come on, everyone, you can make it. There's 130 kilometer per hour. I think it's kilometers per hour. I think that's what it's made. If it's 130 miles per hour, that'll be even better. You guys got 130 of something to play with. I like how these folks over here are actually riding the wave. They're not getting catapulted up. They're just chilling with it. That is a lot of human beings. You know that an old man is a boss when he's standing on top of someone's car as it rides the wave. All right, so I got good news and I got bad news. The good news is high school just got out. The bad news is everyone's gonna get killed by a giant tsunami. Yeah, you better power walk your ass. All these people in the park are like, how could you do this, Gray? Listen, that poor cop needed some company, all right? He's in hell all alone. I like how these people are building up this building. Like they worked super hard and the construction is just going to get done before it gets hit by a tsunami. They're like, wow been working on this building for the past year son of a bitch and thus florida goes back to where it came from <laughs> anyway folks hope you oh my god that one's really <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this episode of say skyline until next time stay foxy and much love